my middle name is Risk. Ray Marco Hennessy R. Risk Henerillo. Sa kasalukuyan, kamusta kayo Martians? Today, wala tayong ibang magawa but it's one of those weeks again na kung saan eh yung karir natin eh wala lang, tamang tanga lang sa tabi. So today, naisip ko na mag-risk ulit ng aking financial income at financial crisis na naman. But not really. But we're just on that specific verge again in our lives, in our career. There's always that point in our career na kung saan sobrang baba natin. Pero we always come and rise up the situation. So today, naisip ko Martians, na this time kung last time ginawa natin payaman sauce, this time, hindi naman payaman sauce. Um, something na medyo mainstream naman. Umorder ako sa isang coffee shop. Coffee shop bar coffee enterprise? Hindi ako sure. Basta they're more of a coffee thingy. And sila yung pipicture natin today. So hintayin ko lang yung in-order ko na umabot ng maintaining balance yung amount. <laughs> Ayun, let's go! Pwede ka na ito, Shek. Oo! 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 And though nga pala, this is not a very nice angle to say thanks sa ating sponsor for today's vlog. Salamat Fujifilm Philippines for being with me in this time of trouble. Dahil kahit hanggang ngayon, nasa akin pa rin yung X-T4. So meaning, makakagawa pa rin tayo ng napakagandang, actually photos. Hindi tayo mag-video. Try natin mag-video. Let's see. Charge mo natin tong camera kasi lobat na. <laughs> Wait. Ang lapit ng camera sa mukha. Right. Match. Two. <laughs> so, ang bibichura natin today is none other than these guys. Dito sponsored. Trip-trip lang to. Naisip ako lang gawin kasi may free time ako ngayon. Tsaka, tinatamad pa ako mag-edit. First setup, table. Kailangan nyo ng table na ganito. Muro lang to. Binigay na ganito. Kailangan nyo ng table na ganito at i-disinfect. Oh, di oh, okay. Sorry, disinfect. Pero kailangan nila bumili ng ganito. Ang gusto nyo mag-food photography din sa mga bahay-bahay nila. At syempre, kailangan nyo ng ganito. These are wooden planks na mabibili nyo lang sa... Mabibili nyo to sa murang halaga and pro tip kung dito nyo man malaman sa channel ko in the first place Bibili nyo siya mura lang, mga nasa 30 pesos lang yata isa nito Tapos pinturahan nyo na lang para makagawa kayo ng malapit na surface Actually matagal na tong green na to May client ako nung December na dapat kukuhanan ko Christmas team Pero since green siya, naisip ko why not gamitin lang natin para sa Starbucks Diba? Not bad Let's do this Let's go Pumasok ka, labas ka ng labas eh Pasok ka dun, pasok Pasok dun! Palungin kita eh! Pasok! Pasok! Sabi ko sa inyo! Pasok! 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 Oh! Sabi ko! Pumasok ka dun! Okay, so nakalimutan ko kung ano yung mga pinag-order ko. Yung sa receipt mo. Pero tingnan natin kung anong pinagbibibili natin. Okay, so first na to, cookies. Ayan, how to be broke. Ito, donut, bunso. Ito ay banana bread sa akin to. Tapos apat na, I think pare-pareho lang to. Simine roll. Masarap to. Kaso, okay. ang tanong, mapipicture pa rin ba to kahit ganito yung itsura niya? Damn. Hindi ko alam kung mapipicture pa to sa itsura niya kasi ang weird. Sana may aesthetically pleasing na itsura sa kanya. But honestly, yung point ng vlog na to, today, isasabihin ko sa inyo kung paano ba magpresyo. Kasi, recently, sa, you know, or, ay putik. Grabe naman pagkakalagay to. Well, kasi recently may nag-PM sa akin, marami nag-PM sa akin, nagtatanong kung paano ba mag-presyo or kung tama ba yung presyo nila sa video, sa photo. Kaya ayun, sagutin natin yung yung araw para, para malinaw na ang lahat. Ano ba pagkakalagay ito, Starbucks? Ayos ah. Galing ah. Kita niya. 
pailalim. Mm. Amazing, Starbucks, amazing. Okay, so far so good. May mga mukhang bumagay naman yung pinakita ko sa inyo. Yan, bahala ka yung nagre-reklamo sa vlog ko na nakakahilo daw, magtsaga ka. So, sumakto naman na okay tong green na plank na pinunturahan ko. Sakto naman siya, so it looks good. Ito nga lang, hindi nga lang siya placing tignan kasi patuloy yan. Diba? Hindi natin alam paano. Siguro display na lang yung mga box sa likod. As prop. And then, ito. Siguro as is na gagawa natin ng something. Ilabas na. Ang pinaka-pleasing lang dito for sure is yung cookie. At yung banana bread. Kahit na paano. It always starts at home guys. Pwede kayong umorder ng kahit ano. Kahit hindi naman necessarily kailangan ng Starbucks. Pwede kayong umorder ng Jollibee, ng burger, ng Minute Burger, ng Angel's Burger. Basta yun nga lang, papagandahin yung pagkain sa sarili nyong sikap. At, okay, so to start things off, maraming maraming salamat pa rin kay Fujifilm Philippines kasi hindi nyo pa rin kinukuha sa akin yung camera nyo. So, ibig sabihin, karamay ko kayo sa gagawin ko ngayong araw na to. I think, sobrang sulit dahil nandito pa rin to sa akin at mamamaximize ko pa rin siya. So, ang gagamitin natin pa rin is yung T4 plus yung 80mm macro na, ewan ko, tignan nyo yung angulo na gagawin ko kasi mataas. Actually, yung nakakatawa dito sa Fuji, kahit di nyo nakulayan yung picture, ito palang maganda na agad, tignan nyo ah. Wala pa siyang laman. Wala pang design, wala pang kahit ano maganda na agad. Actually, hindi na natin kailangan gawing komplikado pa to. Pero ito lang, ganito lang siya kasimple. Hindi ko na masyadong unifortan, pero kasi ito yung concept nun. Start at home, start with what you can buy, at start with who you can start with. Tsaka kahit kit lens lang, madadala nyo yung photo. Kumbaga ang silbi kasi ng macro, more on close-up siya. Tight, parang ganito. Kuha tayo ng unting video para kakalain nila at kinuha tayo ng Starbucks. Okay guys, so it's official. Ultimo yung cup. Ayos mo mara ng maayos. Ano ba to? Para masaya, ilipat natin sa baso na Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> Amazing. Can you see that guys? The, you know, the height difference and then the cup. Damn. Okay, so technically this vlog is not just all about pangungutsya. Hindi naman natin sila kinukutsya. Na nagulat na ako sa service nila nung branch nila. Baka naman next time ayusin nyo yung packaging. But today, since yun nga, andito na tayo sa point na to, isishare ko sa inyo kung ano nga ba talagang dapat presyo ng isang videographer. See, there are four things to consider when it comes to pricing. Number one is pricing. Binabayaran mo ba yung software na ginagamit mo sa pag edit mo sa tuwing meron kang client? Kailangan mo bayaran ng software mo para for me maging mas legit ka as a videographer, as a photographer. Pro tip, merong plan sa Creative Cloud na that will cost you only around 900 pesos instead of 2,600 pesos per month. It's a student plan and it will help you out. Lalo na sa mga bago dyan, sa mga estudyante dyan, or if you're planning to study again, just like me. It will only literally cost you around 997 pesos for the whole Adobe Creative Cloud suite. And isa to sa mga regrets ko dati pa nung baguhan pa lang ako. Having licensed software will most likely land you a better gig and a better image to a client when they ask you what software are you using. You're going to say Adobe Premiere Pro, um, Adobe Audition, Adobe Lightroom, and it's licensed. Which is awesome. Second thing to consider is basically gear. Ano yung gear na gamit mo? To tell you honestly, Martians, para sa akin noon, ang presyo ko noon is 5,000 to 7,000 pesos nung nagko-cover ako ng events. But today specifically, i-cover out natin more on sa food photography at slash videography. To tell you honestly, Martians, hindi nyo kailangan ng super taas na megapixel na camera. At least 24 megapixels or 18 megapixels is great. I even know someone na sobrang galing na ang gamit niya is Canon 500D at or 550D but he's doing super awesome photos. At syempre pagdating sa video, kailangan yung videos or yung video camera na gagamitin nyo is either Sony, Canon, Fuji. The brand doesn't matter. 
But if I would recommend to someone na papasok sa food industry at gagawa ng mga videos, kailangan at least meron kang 120 frames per second sa camera na gagamitin mo. Dahil it will help you out, highlight the indulgence, and of course, yung, alam mo yun, yung tasty. It will make you feel more about the food na kinukuhanan mo. Which is really important. Lalo na sa mga clients. At yan yung lagi nilang mga request. Also, third thing to consider is besides the gear, besides the software, do you have the proper equipment? Siyempre, besides the camera, there's lighting, there's backdrops, there's um, tripods, there's the table, there's the props. You also need to have props. So you have to definitely, definitely make sure na meron kang lighting setup. Kasi besides the fact na magdadagdag siya sa presyo mo, it will also help you out make better, you know, outputs. Yun yung pinaka-importante sa lahat. Lalo na kung magsisimula ka at gagawa ka ng free, I started out with a softbox. It's priced around 500 pesos. And simpleng light bulb lang and you're all good. I think I've said this before sa vlog. I think so. Can you imagine this is where I made my first vlog and this is the shirt that I was wearing and I was really, literally, super thin back then. <laughs> But the last thing that you should consider is the place. Kung saan ka magsushoot? Dito ba? Sa bahay mo ba? Or on-site? So, those are the four things that will help you consider the price that you should give sa mga clients mo. So, let's cut to the chase. Ano nga ba yung presyo ko sa food photography slash, well, pati videography? Um, it ranges from, hindi ko sasabihin yung exact price, but to give you a little honesty, um, or to give you a little glimpse, my price ranges from 8,000 pesos to 40,000 pesos. Depende talaga per project. So I have no exact amount. But it's minimum 8,000 to 40,000. Siyempre yung deliverables, hindi ko pwede disclose sa inyo. It's up to you to think about what you can deliver, what you can provide sa client, and and of course, kung ano yung quality na magagawa nyo. Huwag nyo ibase sa akin yung presyo. Kasi both of us, if you are watching, ikaw mas magaling ka kaysa sa akin. Hindi tayo pantay ng skill. So, it depends really. Kung mas magaling ka, go price according to how everyone. But to tell you honestly, I price just by how at kung paano ako napapagod. And of course, yung apat na binigay kong variables for you which is software, gear, lighting, location. That's how I price all of my gigs. At syempre, no, I would just like to take this opportunity. Kung nanonood ba kayo sa part ng vlog na to, I'm super thankful sa inyo, Martians. Dahil ever since the beginning na naggumawa ko ng free, sinubaybayan nyo ko. And I get a lot of PM saying na they're proud of me because pinanood nyo ko ever since the start. And I'm happy na sinubaybayan nyo ko. And I hope I continue to inspire each and every one of you to create for yourself, for your own passion. Because the honest truth about the industry is that people won't hire you for your passion. They will hire you for your skill. So invest on yourself and invest on your own skill. Kasi, um, yun, yun yung honest truth. Yung creativity na meron kayo is para sa inyo lang. So go ahead and flourish and shine bright like a diamond, i-excel nyo, ipakita nyo sa mundo kung gaano kaya galing. But at the end of the day, you're only going to be hired for what you can do. And it's your chance to, you know, pagandahin kung ano man yung gusto ni client. Just always remember, the client always comes first. And syempre, there are times na as a videographer, a freelance photographer, freelance creator na lang na, sabihin natin, there are times na wala talagang client. So, it's up to you to really... You know, just like me, ito yung ginawa ko. It's an outlet for me. YouTube is basically an outlet for me. But when I'm not uploading, it means nasa shoot ako, may ginagawa ko, or baka nasa Paya Mansion, may ginagawa. Um, yun. Sana, sumubaybay pa rin kayo sa mga susunod na mangyayari kasi napakataming mangyayari. And I continue to attract everything that's going to happen. Ilagay nyo lang din sa isip nyo na mangyayari yung gusto nyo mangyayari. Kasi wala nang imposible sa panahon ngayon. Yun lang naman. Medyo... You know, ilang minutes na ba? I kinda took down the, uh, the liberty of super duper kwento sa inyo. At ayun, kung pinapanood pa rin to ni Fuji, maraming maraming salamat pa rin. Kasi, to tell you honestly today, Martians, medyo nalulungkot ako. Medyo depressed ng onte. Kasi, may ine-edit ako tapos medyo na-burnout lang ako. And I tried to go back 
to where I think I'm most comfortable is content creation. Just expressing how I like things, expressing or sharing with you how. Well, nag-content lang naman ako kasi base rin sa mga, base rin sa mga, you know, tinatanong nyo sa akin. So, ayun. Kung meron pa yung questions na pwede kong sagutin, pwede kong gawa ng vlog, syempre, comment down below, papahinggan ko yan. At syempre, kung out of this world ka, wag na mag muna rin kakalimutan na mag-like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell para notified ka sa mga susunod na i-upload natin ngayong March dahil sobrang daming mangyayari ngayong March. At shoutout dun sa na OOA yan sa boka sa vlog ko. Wala kang magagawa. It's 1.4 all the way because we don't want the low light dirt in our vlog. <laughs> Peace out! What do you want?